do this. What's going on everybody? Andrew here. Top of you from the Quiddy Cave. <laughs> if some of you don't know by now, I am a Zelda fan. And I just know something. I never made a Zelda Month video. I know some of the YouTubers I reviewed actually did Zelda Month videos like Anapa and most recently Happy Mask Gamer. So I decided to do it I do a Zelda game for this. And no, it's not like Between Worlds, so let me turn this on. And uh, I got a free to download a Sonic Boom uh, theme. So if you hear anything, yeah. Come on, downloads, downloads, thank you. I am reviewing today Zelda Four Swords. But I'm gonna go with the Anniversary Edition. Why? Well, the original Four Swords was originally released for the Game Boy Advance as a double pack featuring Zelda Link to the Past. So basically a re-release plus a new game. The reason why the Game Boy Advance one the reason why I'm reviewing that one is because Four Swords for the Game Boy Advance need like a connection deal. You know where you need like a connection cable to play the game? Yeah. So, time to talk about Legend of Zelda Four Swords. It all begins when Link and Zelda goes to visit the Shrine of the Four Swords. A sword that held back the Wind Mage body. Anyone play Man's Cut? Uh, that body is different than this body. Zelda thought it was safe to go there because she felt that the seal that was holding body back was weakening. And apparently it was. When Link got close to the Four Sword, body got released. And when he drew upon the Four Sword after Zelda got captured, he got split up into four people, four Links. And what's funny is that the four Links actually represent its, well, thoughts and feelings. Purple being passion, red being anger, and uh, blue being cowardice. But green is actually, believe it or not, willpower. I mean, come on, that's kind of green lands a rip off anyone. <laughs> there are three lands Link has to go through. Well, all four of them. In the anniversary edition, you can only play as one. <laughs> And you need to collect enough rupees to get a sacred key. Once you collect the three keys of the land, of those lands, you get to go to the Wind Palace where Body is hiding. Then to confront the Wind Mage himself. But, there are three rooms for the Wind Mage. So there's like true ending, a true ending I guess, probably? But after you be fighting the first time, there will be a new land called the Hero's Trial. Which I gotta say is actually is pretty nostalgic considering it's filled with uh, lands from uh, different Zelda games like uh, Link's Awakening and my personal favorite, Link to the Past. The Anniversary Edition was released for free in 2011, so if you want to try to get it, you are a bit too late for that. It was available for the DSi and 3DS to celebrate The Legend of Zelda's 25th anniversary. So, what do I give Four Swords? I give Four Swords a 3 out of 5. I know the puzzle it's just the puzzles sometimes get a bit hard, and it gets a bit repetitive to get all the keys. Like, there's the silver key, there's a gold key, I'm not sure what the final key is because I never tried it out. And of course, the Hero's Trial is pretty difficult as well, but it's very nostalgic as well. So, uh, I'll add a, a point five to it for nostalgia. For nostalgia, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So, that means Legend of Zelda, Four Swords, for the DSi, 
slash 3DS slash Game Boy Advance gets a 3.5 out of 5. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed my Zelda Month video. If you haven't done yet, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, and also you guys, make sure you check out the videos wherever they are. Till then guys, see ya!